Max Strider with you back again today, wanting to talk about some uh, some aspects of how to build creativity in children. So the, the, the point I want to bring up with you today is that there are lots of different ways to build creative re creativity in children, in ourselves, and that one in particular I wanted to bring up with you today, and I want to set the stage with a small story that I read in an article from Scientific American. In this article, which uh, you can uh, find the source of uh, on my website, or go to Scientific American and look for it, uh, the title escapes me um, uh, here in the car, but uh, it, it, was, uh, it was about a guy who works uh, as a hearing specialist, doing hearing surgeries to help people hear better. And he wanted to see if there was anything interesting going on with what happens uh, to the brain during uh, when someone is doing improvisation types of music. So what is improv? Improv is the type of, of music jazz players play when there's no sheet music, there's no rules, they just start with a beat and somebody else plays off of them and then a trumpet player comes in and plays off of them and it's free flowing. Uh, the freestyle rappers do this as well. Eminem uh, got famous by winning a freestyle rapping um, as I go by a tractor on the road there. Uh, uh, a freestyle rapping competition and uh, there's th that's this type of thing. There's famous com comedy shows um, that, that are improv, right? Okay, well this guy wanted to see for some reason uh, why uh, what improv uh, people's brains do differently while playing music. So for whatever reason he decided to do this, he did. And what he noticed is that while he scanned their brains, he kind of figured out how to get like a piano into a brain scanner, and uh, he'd have these people play the piano uh, improv while he scanned their brains. And what he noticed was that there was a certain area of their brain that would shut off when uh, when they would uh, go into improv mode. And coincidentally enough, this is the area of the brain that focuses on self-regulation, on if we are breaking rules, uh, is this the right or wrong thing to be doing, that sort of uh, inhibition center of the brain, and it turns off, interestingly enough. And I thought that this had some the interesting implications for building creativity in children, because I don't think a lot of people think about it, but one of the greatest tools that you can teach a child to help them be more creative is how to overcome the big obstacle that our human nature has of always wanting to conform to what other people are doing. Uh, there's an interesting experiment that I wrote about on my blog recently where a child is put into a room uh, with a bunch of other students um, and, he, and uh, all the students except this child uh, know that these are that they are about to participate in a fake test and that their job is to answer the wrong question you know raise your hand if you believe this way or this way and they always raise their hands uh, agreeing with the incorrect answer and the poor kid who's not in on the gig um, is sitting there in the auditorium or the classroom uh, watching all of his peers get the wrong answers and uh, more often than not, something like 70-80% of the time, the child chooses to go with the group instead of going against the curve and chooses the wrong answer just because socially that is the etiquette rules. Um, why I'm no brain surgeon, I can't verify this at all. It seems to me that the more creative, uh, successful creative people are, people who've done creative things that like meant something in the world, invented something, uh, that sort of thing, important. Uh, they have almost always been willing to break the rules uh, of their little social circle and, and, and step outside of that in order to have their creative moment. So uh, that is something that I would like you to think about, uh, whether you are violating this kind of law and are you... As you go about this week, I want you to think about, are you fostering your child's conformity by always preaching obedience um, and focusing too heavily on obedience, or um, uh, what ways are you maybe ruining their uh, willingness to not conform? It seems like an interesting thing to talk to parents about, about wanting your kid to be less... Uh, 
likely to obey rules, less of a conformist, but I think that if you'd spend some time thinking on it, you'd realize that a little effort here uh, would go a long way. This is Max Strider with uh, the Thought for the Day, and I look forward to talking to you soon. See ya.